what about the, the structure of the partnership? How can you tell us like how to how partnerships can be structured? Sure. So again, it kind of depends on the size of, of the deal and how much work each person's willing to put in. So, you know, there's joint venture partnerships where it might just be two or three people. And maybe one person is primarily the money partner and they bring, you know, capital to the deal, um, but they really, you know, want to be still fairly passive, you know, to not be a syndication, they all need some form of an active role, but maybe it's, I'm contributing capital. Um, I want to be notified when there's big decisions. I want to see, you know, quarterly p &L, um, and otherwise I'm leaving the day-to-day -to, -day to another partner or partners. And so, you know, there are joint ventures that are worked out there that way. If there's only two partners or three partners, each of you is going to have to take on, you know, a more substantial role because there's a lot to do, you know, in the day to day. So uh, oftentimes you see things broken up into kind of deal sourcing, the one that's really in contact with brokers and trying to find deals and pound the pavement. You've got someone that's usually a little more analytical that'll do the, the detailed underwriting and try to make sure that the, the numbers pan out. Somebody's got to take care of the banking relationship and making sure that you can get the loan review all the legal contracts, et cetera. Then you move into property management, asset management, you know, who's going to kind of oversee that day to day. Um, and then, you know, the financials, who's going to look at the financials and the budget and make sure you're sticking to what you're supposed to. So a lot of times you see a different person in, in different roles, depending on if they're more of a, you know, outgoing, they want to be, you know, always networking, bringing in investors, you know, talking to brokers versus very detailed data analytical. And so typically, whether you're doing this in a, in a joint venture or you're doing it in a syndication, you're going to have very clearly defined roles of partners. And so you need to make sure that when you talk to partners, you say, what are you really good at? Where's your experience? And what are you passionate about? Do you want to take on this role? And is, is this the right fit for you in this deal? Or is there something that you're better suited to? And so if you can identify the roles that need to be filled and then find the right partners that can fill those functions, you know, with passion, competence, and, and experience, um, then that's really the best way to put together a partnership instead of saying, hey, I like you, you like me, let's, let's figure out how to do it together when maybe, maybe it's really not a good fit for a particular deal.